If you want to rank on Google, I will help you in this video. I'll go step by step on what's working with my websites, with my clients' websites. And once you see the processes, you're gonna be like, it's not that difficult. Now, four things off the bat, Google Search Console, Analytics, Sitemap, and Page Indexing. And this is all for Bonsai Mary. If I were to show you the mobile view, we've kind of revamped the homepage a little bit. You can see a little bit of dynamic things going on. Looks nice. But what are we doing that's so special to get this kind of growth. I'm going to show you. Look here. We have 478 traffic recently, and that's up from when we recreated this website in April of last year. And if we go to the Google Analytics, we can see a little bit different picture. We're receiving 800, 800, you know, 800, 700, 700. We are going up in traffic. The total we could be receiving this month is 30,000. If it continues on this pace, we could hit we could hit 100,000 visitors in this first quarter of 2024. So getting into this diagram, the goal of many of my SEO campaigns is to maintain and gain, right? We have to maintain what we've earned and we have to gain more traffic. A lot of times we just wanna gain more, gain more while we forget everything in the background. So there's two processes at play here, reactive SEO, right? And we have proactive SEO and both work well. The first one reactive is what most people are accustomed to, right? Um, HCU, the traffic drops. What do I do next? Freaking out. Traffic is increasing on a topic. What to do next? You're just observing and reacting. And I'll show you a great way to employ reactive SEO. The first step, and remember this is free, is to come up here to date and you want to go to compare. And I want to compare, say, the last seven days to the previous period. Comparing is so powerful and it's free if you have Google Search Console hooked up. Then you're gonna to go to pages right here. And then I, I just merely want to know the difference. Okay, I click here and I can see the difference, a positive number 38. That means this article right here, Small Greenhouse, which we revamped uh, very recently. We re revamped this uh, article is doing really well compared to last week. I mean, that's 14 clicks last week and 52 now. Big difference, but the inverse is true of this one. So we have a clicks difference of 21. So if we were to go to this article, and this is important, this has a lot of clicks on the website. I know that because I know the website and it has 121 clicks. So the disparity of 121 versus 142, both are still big numbers for this website. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about something that has, you know, a decent number and then it fell off the face of the earth. So we're going to search. Remember, we are in a ranking, a positive ranking state on this website right now. This one right here, this one right here. So look, it had 17 last week and now seven this week. And we come here and you can see this type of Anthurium, it kind of stinks. This article stinks in a way because there's no pictures. There's nothing here. Now, another way to do it is Ahrefs, right? And you can see here the chart. The blue is the domain rating. And we really haven't gone after any backlinks on this website, but I really plan to in 2024. I think it's the insulating factor and I can rank higher for sure. So the graph looks good. But if we come over to organic keywords, this is where it gets interesting. I can see. So compare with the previous week, the previous previous month. Previous month gives us more, I don't want to say accurate view, but things can fluctuate. Volatility, right? Previous month is pretty darn good, but you're going to see a lot of positive things. Positive, positive. So I can come here and I can say position was either lost, declined. Let's go there. If there was anything sticking out like, ooh, that hurts, we'd be like, why did that happen? You see the pictures here, image packs. If I lose those, uh, I'm okay with that. But here, right here, philodendron, what is it called? Deja vu. This article right here, we did revamp it. Could I make it better? Ahrefs is saying that, you know, we took a little bit of hit. So what I can do is I can copy this URL. I can come back to Google Search Console. I can come here, go to page, post it in here. I want accurate, accurate, accurate things. We're not going to compare. We're going to go here. We're going to do uh, filter. We're going to do last 28 days. What are the true metrics on this uh, page? Page by page, this matters. And you can see we're kind of flatlining. Are we receiving too much traffic to care about it? Is there enough traffic on this keyword to care about it? These are the questions we have to ask. Now we're gonna edit this article, so we are going to edit it, but why? Why do we care? It doesn't seem like there's a lot of traffic here, and you have to listen to me on this. If you have good content and you have bad content on your website, the bad content can drag down everything. That's called a site-wide penalty, and I think a lot of people saw that with HCU. Nonetheless, if we're going to come down here, what are we going to do to edit it? I'm going to go first to the featured image. I'm going to push this in here. I just want one that looks contrasted, a contrast, right? That one, white and green. Looks good to me. Boom. 
And then this first portion here, welcome to comprehensive care guide. Let's get rid of that. That stinks, right? I want a better, look, this right here would be a better intro. It tells you about the plant right off the bat, right? So that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. Boom, get rid of that. And let's bold something. That in itself right there, I'd be happy with. You know, that's a very kind of lazy way to go about it. But make the article better, make it different, update it, right? Now you're going to push update. You're going to click view post. And then when I have this right here, I'm going to grab it, control C, and I'm going to come up here. Boom, right? This is us asking Google, okay, we changed it a bit. Please index this, right? Test in live URL if it can be indexed. And you're going to see Google's going to be like, yes, it can be indexed. Good. It takes a minute or two. But the point here is revise and then ask Google to re-index your page. And when things go well, this is what it looks like. This is exactly what I look for on websites. This is when velocity of content matters, right? This is the sitemap. You can go to all known pages. I don't care about this. This doesn't matter. Go to bonsaiberry.com sitemap index. These are the pages on the website that we created. Is Google giving us green? That means it's indexed it online. It means that people can see it when they search in keywords, right? This is what we want. Up, up, and away. That's what you want to see. Then when you see that, you put your foot to the pedal. And new content and revisionary content is so important. Now, moving on to proactive SEO, I really think this is what separates websites. We're accustomed to this whole adage of, let's just create articles and let them cook and forget about them. I don't think that's the way anymore. I think Google is requiring more of us. So it's all about your processes. We have to create processes for this to go well. Now, one way that I have done really well with proactive SEO is coming to my sitemap. Very easy, very free to do, right? Just do this. I can come and you'll see there's the URL. I can click on any of these, the images and the last modification date. This tells me a lot about my competitors' websites too. I can just jump on their sitemap. Nonetheless, I can tell you for a fact, any of these articles I could click in, this one, sooty mode, mold, I can talk. Uh, this article stinks. And it doesn't stink for reasons you may think, but it stinks for page engagement. Why? Because it has two images and it was done back in May. Anything done back in May, I know I was not doing the same processes. I was just testing ChatGPT to just pump out content. And it ranked and it did well, but we can do much better. So I would sort, and this is exactly what I'm doing. I say to my team, if you see anything that is done before X date, we need new articles. And what I do is a completely new batch of articles, new 100% new copy. And I'll show you what that looks like. Furthermore, look here, images. I have articles on philodendron. How cold can philodendron tolerate? Like this, this, this article is ranking, by the way, this is doing well, but it's just informational text. I have something like a thousand philodendron pictures on the website. Why not use them? Why not come in here and revise these zero image articles with, with images of philodendron? Now, for an example, this was just posted. This one right here, bonsai pests. As I was creating this video, like our team member just posted this. I just saw it come up. So this is a perfect example. This one was one of the older ones that was redone. They have new pictures. The format is awesome. Realize this website I hardly touch at all. It's all just team members creating it. I just give keywords and some slight directions and it just goes, goes, goes. So how did they do this? And one of the coolest parts is the images, right? The most common pests in bonsai, a cool image, right? 16 by nine, we'll get into that. Aphids, a kind of demonstration of aphids. Look at this. Let's keep going. Spider mites, very cool. Mealybugs. So what we do, how you do this is grab the text. After you've created the text, then you come to ChatGPT. Give me four 16 by nine cartoon images. Why 16 by nine? It's because Google Discover likes that format. Uh, relating to this text, make sure the H2s are represented. And then boom, we just give it the whole stinking thing, right? And it will do exactly what we asked of it. It's going to say, okay, let's do scale insects. Let's do aphids, spider mites, mealybugs. And here are images it just came up with similar to what we just saw. Now, what else can you do? You can use tools like XN Convert. You can push them to WebP. Definitely rename the file name. And uh, what else? Alt text. We do alt text for all images as well. Now, this is the inside brains of Bonsai Mary. I want to show you this because this one article could get 30,000 uh, visitors per month by itself. And we're going after bigger terms now. So the best indoor plants for beginners. That's what it's going to be titled. But you have to realize how we're doing it. So what 
best plants. What are the best plants? This is a listicle, right? The 47 best plants. And here they all are. We merely asked ChatGPT, you know, give us some ideas. And I don't know how many we had. We had like, that's 81 different plants. And then what we're doing here is gathering the genus species. We're going to have a title. And then over here is the URL. Some of these are already existing on the website. Therefore, don't do anything. And when we create these type of articles, this is what it looks like. The 47 different types of bonsai trees. And I mean, the, the, the format's pretty simple. In other videos, I showed you the hammer format we usually do, two or three paragraphs, bullet points. It looks nice, readers can read it very easily. And people just wanna see pictures and they wanna read a little thing, a little SEO stuff, but realize all of these things, I can click here and it links down to the article. They can learn more. And that's gonna help with page engagement. We want people to crawl down into our websites. That matters more than anything nowadays, I think. And I think it always has mattered. Uh, here's another example, flower and bonsai. So 22 most beautiful flower and bonsais, you know, same format. There's nothing new here, just rinse and repeat. Because although this is a nice chart and it's nice that we survived HCU for now, it's going up. That really, you know, 400, call it 500 clicks a day, that still doesn't matter. That's not gonna give us the income that's excitable in any measure, right? And how we're going to get there is through listicle type of posts that draw in huge amounts of traffic.